Hi, this is Kurt Alterac with MusicMedic.com and the Sax Pro Shop. I'm in the Sax Pro Shop today and I am installing some rivets onto pads. So what I'm using is my our low profile rivet punch from MusicMedic.com. So you see the special design of this rivet punch forces the small cuts in the rivet to stay very low to the pad and what you end up with is a rivet that hopefully stays below the leather surface so that the pad doesn't teeter around on the rivet that's sticking up too high. Uh, let me show you how we use this. First we get a pad, this is a Music Medic pad. And then we take, choose a resonator. Since this is just for fun, let's put a nice big resonator on there and uh, put your rivet through. These rivets are solid brass and then plated. We make our rivets out of solid brass instead of two parts, like a lot of rivets, because sometimes the two part ones, the head is separate and it can rattle in the instrument. And that's a real hassle trying to find which rivet is rattling. Uh, so we make them out of one part. And also these are made out of brass so they won't rust. So I put the rivet through and you see that the rivet punch has two parts. This part is gonna hold the cardboard down when you go to punch it so that the rivet sticks up enough so when it splits it can it can find purchase on the top of the pad rather than splitting inside the pad so I'm just gonna put the little divot in the middle of the rivet punch into the center of the rivet and you can feel that that's on there I'm gonna hold down this part that's holding the cardboard out of the way and then I'm gonna give a couple whacks with the rivet punch and I have set my low profile rivet and when I look at it from the side, that one is not sticking up above the leather. So we're good. And that pad's ready to install. Cool. That's the low-profile rivet punch from MusicMedic.com.